after a few seconds the RIP interface will open up and you'll notice going across the top it'll talk about loading the file. The speed of the loading the file will all depend on your computer, how fast it is, how large the file is coming in. One of the things that you will want to look at is to come down here to the bottom of the status message tab and make sure that there's no error messages or anything coming up. As you'll notice, you'll click on the incoming jobs tab and you'll see that our jobs in here, it's processing. This job is 9.87 megabytes in file. As it begins the process of rendering and rasterizing, it'll create the white ink layers first and then the CMYKs. And then each one of these will be dropped in two separate ones underneath the process jobs tab. Once it gets to a certain level though, some of the files will be dropped off into the pages to printers tab. For the purposes of this video, we're going to go ahead and pause this and catch up once the rip gets a little bit farther along. We'll pick that up and you'll notice the white ink layer has shown up here and the progress bar is almost all the way across. Underneath the pages of printers tab, you'll notice that the file shows up as spooling. Once it goes all the way across, it'll actually show up in the process jobs tab. And then the color layers will start to begin to come across as well. Again, the, how fast this comes across is all dependent on the speed of your computer and everything. I'm running this on uh, Windows Vista, which tends not to run as fast as XP. Uh, but you can feel free to run it on whatever one because it does have the ability to work on both operating systems. Now you'll notice if you come to the Pages of Printers tab, the white ink layer is, says Ready. This gives you the ability to go ahead and print before the entire file makes it over to the printer, since we're splitting this up into two passes, one with the white ink and one with the colored ink. You'll notice underneath the progress bars now it says Color slash White Highlights, and that's going to be sending the information to print for our second pass, which will print our CMYK and it will also print the white highlight setting that we had put into the RIP itself. Once this finishes up, I will show you in the Process Jobs tab where you can view all of the different files. There is one important thing to know about when you have something in the Pages of Printers tab. You are able to export your file out. If you click on the file name once, right click over it, you can come down to export and this will allow you to save the file if you ever have to reproduce this job. This will allow you to go ahead and reproduce the job exactly the same because it saves all of the information you have in your graphic software program and in the RIP without ever having to go back through. In addition, you also have the ability to do a production run. It's much easier to RIP one individual file and then click on the production run and be able to choose the number of repeats that you want to do to it instead of trying to rip a file 20 times which would take a lot longer. You also have the ability to pause, resume, and cancel this as well. So now that our job is finishing up underneath the color white highlights itself, we will begin to see it show up into the process jobs tab. If we double click on the file name and click on the number one for the pages, it'll show up. Again, remember that it's not going to print any of the black background that's being shown here. We'll go ahead and close this window, go to the pages of printer, and you'll be able to double click and view this. In this case, only the areas that are dark are what's going to be printed with white highlights to a certain degree. There'll also be a little bit of shadowing and stuff that comes down. We'll close that file and we'll view the color file. In the color file, you'll see a lot more information show up. And that's all it takes to printing using the color layer back black background. If you have any questions, please visit multiripusers.com. Thank you.